What's up, guys? Check this out. Recently, I have been talking to elderly people. You know, anybody that's 70, 80, 90 years old that doesn't mind taking time out of their day to share their life experience with me. You know, I make sure that, you know, I shut my mouth, open up my ears, open up my eyes, and I listen to them. Because every person is very unique in the sense of, and I've been doing this to a lot of people, um, every pre person is really unique in the sense of, you know, the ways that they interpret the life, things that they would have done different, things that they would have done better, um, what they would do again, what they wouldn't do again, you know, things that they like, things that made them happy their whole lives, things that made them unhappy their whole lives. Every day, or every other day, really, I try to go to the library. Uh, at the library, it's just a good study, obviously, area for, for myself. It's quiet, everybody's working. Um, I'm trying to get better at my crafts. So I'm reading, research, and blogging all the time. So, anyway, uh, at the library, I met this guy. He's 83 years old. His name is Frank. And so I went up to Frank, and for, I went up to Frank and asked him all those things and told him, you know, what I do, my name, um, how old I am, stuff like that. I, you know, I just want to learn from him. If he didn't mind just sitting with him, um, he sits by like the back of the library. There's the computers on the one side, and there's the book section. And Frank just kind of chills by the couches. So he looked like a cool guy, someone that um, I, you know, I wanted to talk to. So I went up to him, asked him. And Frank told me, you know, he laughed a little bit because I think he thought I was nuts at first for coming up to him. And he told me that, um, basically, he said, you know what, Bud? Uh, I think that if I were to put my finger on the key to life, it would be just, you know, switch. He, he, what he would have done different is switching his energy. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, for half his life, he spent his energy on saying no, being negative, being around the wrong people, and not making his, he told me that he didn't make himself uncomfortable enough for growth. He didn't make himself uncomfortable enough for growth. He said no, he hung out with, you know, negative people that didn't allow him to grow, and he put his, all of his energy into finding ways not to do things, to do them tomorrow. To not challenge yourself, you know, to not want to have to deal with failure, really. He said if he were to do anything different, if he were to do it again, and if he were to put his finger on what the key to success is, he said put your energy into all the opposite of that. He said it's the same energy. He looked right at me and was like, but it's the same energy. So, it's up to us how we want to use it. I thought I'd share that message with you. Thanks.